Well, if you're looking for a late night snack or a really late dinner in this area, you're probably changing your plans. You can see behind me here, crews are starting to clean up from construction of three water main breaks that occurred here earlier this morning. One worker came up to me and said that a cause of these is usually some kind of wear down in the pipe system, but we don't know the cause of today's water main breaks. Now, Indiana American Water did say that they turned the water back on. However, some Burger King employees said they don't have the water on back yet. That announcement was about 30 minutes ago. Now, keep in mind, businesses close at about uh, 9 o'clock this morning. Those restaurants did, rather. They've been closed. Places like Burger King, Taco Bell, KFC, and Arby's have all been closed since about 9 o'clock this morning due to possible contamination of their water supplies. McDonald's and Rally's on Madison Street, they are still open. They are not in the affected area. But as for those restaurants that did close, here's some things to point out that they have to do in preparation for tomorrow. One employee told me that they went and bought 12 35 packs of bottled water. Water, 22 liter bottles of Coca Cola, 10 2 liter bottles of Diet Coke, and spent about $150 just to prepare for tomorrow's day of business because all of the liquid they have in the restaurant right now is possibly contaminated because of these water main breaks. Now, all of these businesses are planning to reopen tomorrow night, but they will remain closed so that they can clean up and get prepared for business as normal tomorrow morning. Live in Muncie, Tony Sandlaben, Newslink, Indiana. Indiana American Water has identified what they believe to be the cause of four water pipe bursts that occurred here on Madison Street yesterday morning. They said it's likely somebody was operating a fire hydrant and closed it too quickly. That then created what they call a water hammer, which is essentially a shock wave that went through the pipe system all the way down the street here on Madison Street and caused the pipes to break in four separate locations. That caused restaurants like Arby's and Burger King and Taco Bell and so on to close down at 9 o'clock yesterday morning and remain closed all throughout the day and throughout the night because of possible contamination to their water supply. Those restaurants have now reopened today, but their fountain drinks are in short supply. Burger King even told me they've already run out. In Muncie, Tony Sandlaben, Newslink, Indiana. Well, at about 545 this afternoon, the call came in reporting a shooting at 111 South Dick Street. That's the house that you're looking at right here. That's where the shooting took place. An older male was taken away from the scene in an ambulance. We have no word on the victim or the condition that they are in, but uh, at about 830, that was when police left. The crime scene was declared inactive and people were allowed back into the house. There was no threat to campus and police chief Joe Winkle said more information would be available likely tomorrow morning. We'll for sure keep you updated on this story as more information does become available. For now, live in Muncie, Tony Sandley, Newslink, Indiana. Well, thank you, Jake. Governor Chris Christie is speaking as part of the 8th Annual Prescription Drug Abuse Symposium here at the Sheraton Hotel in Indianapolis. The symposium itself actually just got started. It's going on on the other side of these closed doors here in the ballroom at the Sheraton Hotel. But one thing to point out is as people showed up here, they came into the lobby area, you can see some food is being served, but also some information about medical services that are available here in the region and throughout the state of Indiana to try to help with this opioid crisis that is going on in Indiana. It's an opioid crisis that's also going on throughout the country. It's a crisis that President Donald Trump declared a national emergency, a public emergency, and it's an emergency that Indiana is no stranger to. This is the medical crisis of our time. This is the AIDS epidemic of our generation, but even worse. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is the chairman of President Donald Trump's commission on combating drug addiction and the opioid crisis. He is coming to Indiana to speak on the epidemic that has hit the state hard. According to the Centers for Disease Control, opioid abuse is now the leading cause of death among people younger than 50 in Indiana. The state is also facing an economic burden from the crisis that is now approaching $78 billion. Indianapolis and Muncie have announced plans to file lawsuits against opioid distributors because of these damages. It's extremely devastating to communities that are trying to deal with these issues. Muncie Mayor Dennis Tyler wants the opioid distributors to pay back costs the city has taken in as it continues to deal with opioids. Tyler says 82 percent of the city's general budget is now going towards public safety costs, mainly because of the opioid crisis. The city's police department has been on the front line of trying to contain what President Trump has declared a public emergency. Police Chief Joe Winkle agrees. Drugs in general, we think, attribute to about 90 percent of the crime that we deal with, uh, whether it's uh, armed robberies, whether they're after the opioids or if they're opioids or they're um, breaking in houses to get money for the drugs or 
um, just the street level crime that's committed uh, because of this this issue. So um, we spend countless hours and, and time and money uh, just dealing with the, the drug issues. Now, the city of Muncie has not yet filed this lawsuit, but it does, to plan, it does plan to do so here in the near future. Meanwhile, Attorney General Curtis Hill is also going to be speaking here at the symposium today. Governor Chris Christie will not be speaking until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. We will keep you updated as those events transpire. Live in Indianapolis, Tony Sandlaben, Newslink, Indiana.